I'll Be There For You by Cassie Miller. The one about friends. So you got about three parts and about 11 chapters total. And as you can guess, this is another book about the television show Friends. So you are getting a behind the scenes kind of look, like how it came to be, casting. <coughs> and you do get a few like quotes placed throughout the book by like the actors or the people who, like the producers and people who worked behind the scenes. And you got different, it does talk about different topics. Like it does talk about like that almost like crossover kind of almost episode of like George Clooney, ER, Susan, Car Susan and Carol, like the lesbian couple. It does talk about um, the show My So-Called Life, uh, Gen Y. Campaigns, wages, salaries. It does talk about the character Emily and the actress who played her and her kind of like once you're on friends, people kind of like notice. So it does talk about like issues about like like Fat Monica and like weight. Uh, it does talk about like the mentions of like Ross and Monica being like Jewish and like it's brought up like two or three times but everybody kind, kind of kind of like ignores that throughout the series and like it does like it did air while 9-11 happened so that playing a part, um, and Charlie, Aisha Tyler's character, they do a few pages on that, it, it, and talk, talks about, like, the good and bad of the show, so, like, things we go, eh, today, like, the stereotypes and jokes that were made then and were like, and today were like, eh, but, and when it didn't do well in ratings, the relationship between the characters, so Monica Chandler, Ross and Rachel, and like, the possibility of Joey and Rachel getting together, and they're like, Matt LeBlanc is like, uh, why, <laughs> kind of thing. And some information about the actors and creators and others who worked on the show, like I said. And you get some information of years after it left the air, their careers. Like... Matthew Perry talking about, like, him... Like, punching Justin Trudeau on, like, I think it was Conan. And Trudeau's response to him about that. And, like, their careers after, like, Mott LeBlanc doing the Joey, like, spin-off. And the, like, David Trimmer's career after, Jennifer Anderson's career after, and so on. And the possibility of, like, a reboot. And so it does talk about, like, that. And will there, won't there be kind of thing. So you get a little bit of a comparison to Seinfeld. So kind of it's competition of the, at the time and the same kind of jokes that could be played then were like eh, now about. And you get source notes a bibliography of quotes that were used. Uh, you got notes after the ins, um, after the index. You got a few lines of extra info. <coughs> but some are about a paragraph extra. But you do get a little bit of extra side note information from there. 
So if you are a Friends fan, this could be a book you would pick up. Like it isn't a happy-go-lucky kind of like behind the scenes. Everybody was like all oh, tra -la, la la kind of thing. You are getting like the good and bad kind of thing about putting that show together and like highs and lows in ratings, characters, actors, people working on it, interactions and all this, and events that happened during the sh like during during the show, like a few of them. So a, it's a late nineties, early two thousand show. So you got the mowing the lawn. So you got the atmosphere of that period. So yeah, I'll be there for you by Kelsey Miller. Happy readings.